Toronto's three best real estate condo projects you can invest in right now. Which are the condos in the Toronto real estate market you want to invest in right now? This is Justin Kaplan, Toronto Realtor, and in this video I'll show you the three best condo projects for 2019, 2020 that I think are fantastic opportunity to invest in. Okay, Yossi Kaplan here, Search Realty, uh, Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. This is where you find all the listings, the private deals, the assignments, the construction, the VIP. Everything you need to know is here. You can search for Yossi Kaplan Toronto, Yossi Kaplan Real Estate, or DuckDuckGo on Google to get all my sites. You can go to UrbanRealtyToronto.com to get uh, in-depth articles, deals, assignments. I put a lot of effort into this site. At the bottom of the site, on the right side here, there's a pre-made search and you can hit those and you'll see, if you want to see what's available in King West, just hit that button and it'll go to the site and pull all the current listings for King West. Okay, so that's an example and we'll get back to that in a minute. I want to show you a few more things, Fashion House Condos, fashionhousecondos.com, if you're looking at King West, there's your information right there. Okay, and now I'm going to get into the three best invest upon the project you can invest in right now. So, I want to show you the Google Maps here first. I mapped them on the map. I put them on the map. The first one I'm going to look at is the Well Condos by Tridel. Okay, the Well by Tridel, the Well Condos. The second we're going to look at the Galleria Mall, which is a, a free development in LR Canada doing. And the third we're going to look at Crosstown, which I already discussed in the previous video a couple of weeks ago. Now, the first question is, why am I focusing on why am I focusing on these three projects and not others? There are many of them. The reason is very simple. In order to gain a long-term value, I'm looking for the best value, quality, and community I can find. Now, you know me, I like to invest in small boutique buildings, but when it comes to investing, kind of send and forget, invest and forget, I like to see something that is managed well, it's got great location, it's got a great name behind it, and quality in the last many years. Why? Because I want to put a really good tenant in there and then I want to just collect the rent for the next 10 or 20 years and basically let someone else pay for my place. I'm putting the 20% down and the bank is loaning 80% the mortgage which I'm paying through the tenant. Okay? So all I'm doing is investing 20% in the closing cost. That's how it works. Okay? The reason I like it, this is 2020, 20, 2019, 2020, and in the Toronto real estate market right now, what you'll see is you'll see a split between the high end buildings. The good project really designed carefully, thought, thought of, and the rest of them. And you've seen a lot of smaller developers, first time developers, not so great developers. They put in a condo on the market, they sell it overnight, and then they cancel the project because they realize they could have gotten more. So we don't want to go those projects. We're not looking for like the cheapest here. We're looking for the best quality, and the best return on our investment, and I want to sleep at night. Okay? So the wealth on those by Tridel. What is happening here? The well is a multidisciplinary project. It's got residential, it's got commercial, it's got office, it's got shopping, it's got everything. This is where the old Toyota on front used to be. Okay, so you're looking at west of Spadina, uh, between front and, and the garden. So that's that's the site, and you can see it's got condos, it's got to have some rental, it's going to have commercial uh, and, and uh, offices, and it's going to have shopping and all that stuff. Okay? So the first reason I like the well is because it's an organized community and it's built by one of the most established developers in Canada that over and over again have proven themselves and maybe the best developer in Canada. Everyone knows that when you go into the Tridel office, they're going to hand you the key, the project's going to be finished. You know? You're know, not going to get half-assed built. The hallway is going to be finished. Your place is going to finish. They really take a lot of care to produce a really good product. And, and PDI Tridel is easy because usually there's nothing going on. Even though they produce so many units, they've got such good process and management, they, they can produce unit after a unit, building after building, very high quality. You know, Tridel, they don't know I'm making this video, they're not paying me, I'm not associated with them, I'm just telling you what I think as an industry professional and as someone that lives in Toronto, okay? So they will. The location is fantastic. And the location here, let's zoom in on the map here, okay? So I'm right here. So this is Spadina. Here we go. This is Spadina. I'm literally just south, it's slightly east of, uh, or just south of King West. Okay. So it, it's, uh, I can walk anywhere I like. I can go to Spadina and from there take the streetcar up to the subway or go down to the water or drive to uh, Garden DVP. Not a problem. The second thing, I'm very close to the financial district right here. I can just 
walk to it. And of course, these are new modern buildings. These are giant buildings. There's a few large condos and smaller, uh, three or four smaller structures also available. The prices here are moderate. That means they're not the highest, but they're definitely not the lowest. Um, they're around the 1400 bucks a foot at this moment. I'm sure some units are way above and some units are below. Okay, But for the area, if you compare it to whatever is selling in the area, it's a good price. Okay. If you want the exact price and the exact availability, I do have it. All you got to do is email me or call me and I'll send you a PDF with the prices of what's available. Obviously, please don't ask me to send you the entire building on the project. It's not going to happen. I don't do that. But if you're a serious investor, you look and say, you'll see, I need to find something in the 500 range or the 600 to 800 range, no problem. We'll pick up the best units possible. We'll look at them and we'll compare with other projects to see what's best for you. But that would be... Perhaps my first choice to invest in Toronto condos right now in 2019-2020. Yeah, well, um, if we look at the satellite image, it's a giant site. It's right here. Um, there was the Toyota and the Globe and Mail. It's a huge piece of land and extends all the way from Spadina, uh, not to Portland, but to here. I'm not sure what that little stretch is. Okay, so that's what you're looking at. Um, you can see right here is Wellington. There's a few new buildings coming on Wellington. They're already sold on the construction. Obviously, King Street, it's got the famous fashion house, the two Thompsons, 95 bathrooms, 20,000 bathrooms, all these buildings. So you couldn't have better neighbors, okay? When you look at the Tridel side, you can run the video here, and you can see what they're building. This is giant. This is a giant, giant project. A lot of design projects because they allow for better living, um, you can stay there, you can live there, you can be there, you can work there, you know, it's a serious stuff. Um, Shopify got about a quarter million square feet, that number correctly, it's 254, look at this, thousand square feet of offices there. So imagine owning there and just rent to one engineer at Shopify. If you remember, I made a video about Shopify, the engineers of Shopify and Google make well over $100,000 a year, they're young, they're probably renting before they're buying, so that would be audience that I'd like to target, the high-tech engineers and the financial people that are working down the street, okay? So that is Tridel the Well. It is not just condos, it's also offices, living, co full community, very, very good. Three million square feet on over 7.8 acres of office, retail, condo, and rental residential in Toronto Skinway. Very, very nice, okay? So you get some more information here. If you want to see actual prices and plans, I have them. Uh, give me a shout, email, call, whatever, and I'll send you the information. But you can see this is an entire complex. And the future of humanity is in these complexes. What you're going to see is you're going to see in the next, you know, 5, 10, 20, 50 years, this project is going larger and larger and larger, and it becomes mini cities over entire city blocks. It's happening everywhere in the world starting with the larger cities and, and then it, it trickled, trickled down, okay? That also means that these products are expensive to buy, expensive to rent. So that means that if you're priced out of that project, you can look at my video saying how to buy cheap stuff and how to buy outside of Toronto and where to buy and there's options for you there. You can still buy something for three and four hundred thousand dollars but if you buy it in Toronto, this would be my first option. However, because there's so much selection and so many opportunities here, thousands of units, Give me a call. I've been doing this all my life, and I'll help you pick the best unit for you. And we'll go through the plan and realize what's the best one that you want to look at. Okay, Tridel the Well. Very, very nice project. I have the prices. Okay, so it's right here. Uh, the next one we're going to look at, we'll go back to the map. I'll zoom out. And we're going to look at Galleria Mall. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Galleria Mall. Let's see if I can I'll bring that back. Serious research going on here. The Galleria Mall is happening at DuPont and Dufferin. Okay, so that's just um, up from uh, right here, Dufferin Grove Park and the Walmart that you probably know. And Galleria Mall right now is a rickety little area, and it didn't really count much. But the entire area of Dufferin and DuPont, uh, Geary Avenue, Davenport, all that area is becoming very popular. At first, it became popular because artists and young people can find cheaper re residences there. 
And now the condos are coming. We already had a lot of condos coming and selling on St. Clair West, which we discussed earlier. They still have nice uh, places. And those were going, some of them were going for 700 bucks a foot. At the time, you go, oh my God, but at the time, it was only a year ago. And now everything's going for more. So I don't have the prices for Galleria Mall yet, but we are taking reservations. If you're looking, let me know, and I'll make sure you're on the list to get the VIP prices. But my guess there will be somewhere in the middle, not the lowest and not the highest. Why? Because that's what the area commands. So if I had to spend the same amount of money at Galleria Mall and the same amount of money uh, per foot at the well, I'd probably go for the well because the location is superb. So if I'm buying a location which is still yet to be developed, which is totally fine, because that's how I build my entire portfolio on, on areas to be developed, that's okay, but I would be expecting a slight discount over the price for the maximum price down the street. Okay? So if the well is 714, my target price for gallery will be 1200 you know? You see what I'm saying? I'm giving myself 15% discount to buy here. Would the rents be lower here than it than at the well? Probably a little bit. Would the prices come up as much as the other? They probably they probably keep kind of an equilibrium where the higher stays the highest, the medium stays the medium, and the lower stays the lowest. Now, having said that, in every project in every building, I always find that unit is slightly below average, that has better value, which was for some reason not priced properly. I always find this unit. And in every building of 500 units, there's a handful, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four of these units. It's not necessarily the cheapest unit or the largest unit or the handout. It could be any unit, but that's what I do. I go through this floor plan and I make sure to find the best unit possible. And that's why I work with investors, okay? Investors, what they bring to the table is the fund. What I bring to the table is 20 years of experience picking the best unit and maximizing on your investment. And that's at the end what you want to do. You want to maximize on your investment. I'm going to zoom in and look at this entire park here. So it's an entire area right now. It's a giant shopping center. It's really not nice. There's nothing going on there. Uh, there's a McDonald's, there's LCBO. So that stuff is going. And instead of that, uh, it's going to come some very, very nice project. Uh, Uber design, uh, quite futuristic. So you can see here, the main address is 445 DuPont, but there's this eight towers, people are Dufferin, uh, 26 times with sweets, uh, first access to a price, okay, that's all good. I think this is some uh, agent site, but it's all good. Here you can see what these look like, okay? This is the design, they're already working on design, and this is happening, my friends. And that's a very, very nice place, in my opinion. Okay, so if you want information about Gallery and Mall, why to invest here? I think this will be my second choice. My second choice, okay? And the reason is that location. Nonetheless, if I were stressed for cash and I wanted to invest in a really, really nice project, this is the people that built the Thompson to get some unique architecture. And there's a lot of opportunity here to make really great gains. If I think the beginning for slightly lower, okay? And then he has more room to grow more room for the value to go up, then I, I'm doing really good. Then my ROI is really high. And remember, there's two parts of the ROI. One is the return on the rental income, right? My income divided by my investment, return on investment, that's what it is. But the second is the appreciation. So if my $700,000 unit appreciates by 10%, that means it's $70,000 added to the appreciation value, to the new value. Okay? Now, if I can get in one project more square feet for that $700,000, that could be an advantage. The closer I get to the core of downtown, the higher dollar per foot goes, and the less footage I get for the same amount of money. So that's, and that's something we have to look at and decide which one we're going for. And this would come, and some people love here at the cafe, which is great, um, and, and this decision is end up being personal. I mean, I can, you know, tell you the exact numbers and everything, and I can pinpoint that this would probably be the best unit to invest. It would probably be the best project to invest. But, you know, you may like the West End. You may like downtown. You may like the East. So there's emotion and the personal uh, attributes coming to game, coming to play. Okay, that's Galleria Mall.
Galleria Mall is uh, where can I? Here, Galleria Mall. It's right here. It's Dufin and Dupont. Okay, this area still has a lot of room for growth. It's also got some train tracks. Uh, these are them here, um, but that doesn't bother me so much. But you should know it's there. It's okay. I've never, I've never been bothered by it. You know, it's been there long before us and will be. And obviously, all the houses around here will also benefit greatly because they're going to get a giant, shiny new project to look at. Okay, the last project we want to look at is the Crosstown Condos. Um, the Crosstown Condos, it's all the way up here at DVP and 401 inch by the Sign Center. Now, I've, I've made an entire video dedicated to Crosstown. This, this, this is the one. Crosstown Condos, Jesse Kaplan's Condo Investment Real Crosstown. And in my opinion, it's a very, very good opportunity. First of all, you need to understand you can buy here from 900 something a foot, which is no other place in the GTA, or at least in this area, you can, you can attain that kind of price, which is fantastic. Okay? This triangle here is the triangle for Crosstown. Right here, I zoom in on it. And this is also. Uh, mega plan community, master plan community, there's the old IBM 1960s kind of design by the famous architect, and all this will be transformed to a mini city, okay? So we're looking at three mini cities, three projects which are complexes, which are design communities. That is the future of living, that is the future instead of just building one vertical and you know, what's your amenities? Oh, I got a little school, oh, I don't have the pool, I got a little gym, no. Here you'll get massive um, amenities that everyone can use. Um, and that also includes shopping, that also includes maybe a doctor and a dentist, that could include uh, local offices. So you can literally start having your life without leaving the complex. And it's very good if you're a parent and you have children and maybe there's a school nearby or they're gonna build a school, daycare, I believe the Crosstown's getting daycare. But these are very, very good options for people who are planning on having a family or have a young family and like to be there. Now, if you are tied to the 401, you need to drive or most of your life are north of 401 or in this area, Crosstown could be a very good option for you because, first of all, it's nice living and you've got lots of green around. And second, it's really easy to get other places in town. If you do not need to be downtown, that could be a really good option. And it costs a lot less, okay? If you buy in Crosstown 900 foot, or a thousand a foot for like a nice unit, high floor, whatever, you're still saving 40 or 50 percent over downtown prices. And in some cases, like Europe, it's half the price of Europe. Half. Yes, it's still a lot of money, but everything in perspective, it gives you the option to be in Toronto, to be connected at a beautiful building, all the high tech, all the bells and whistles, a design massive community, and still pay less. Okay? So that's what I want you to understand. Everything has a reason. So my first choice uh, would be the well, if you want to invest the money, if you want to be downtown, if you want to get everything, if you want to be on King West, you know, you can't even get anything on King West now. Oh, I lost my uh, marker. But you, you can't really get anything on King West now um, for, for, for cheap. You just can't. It's just not possible, okay? So because, go ahead. Uh, because, because this is what it is, you're going to have to pay the price for it. If you're going to pay the price for it, you know, you might as well get the best you can. Go for quality. It's very, very important to go for quality. Okay? Now, if you want quality and you want to pay a little less, you go here. This is a very nice uh, building or, or uh, community of buildings. And the design is kind of futuristic and kind of cool. And the buildings are not too uh, high, which I really like. You know, it's really cool. And it's a nice project. It's got a park. I think it could be a very, very nice place to live. And your tenants will be very happy if you're buying to invest. That's Crosstown. Okay, that's a Crosstown video. So that's it, my friends. Uh, you have your luxury real estate for over a million. But the most important thing is I want to show you the three best kind of projects you can invest in right now. And in my opinion, these are the Well, Gallery, and Mall, and Crosstown. This is true to 2019-2020. We'll see what comes up next. I do have 
prices and plan for Tridel. I do have price and plan for Crosstown, and shortly I have the same price and plans for Galleria Mall. So give me a shout and let me know what you're looking for. Um, make it specific, make it real. You know, if you want to know how much the panels, it's fine, but if you're buying a OnePlus 10, let's focus on what you want because other people, that they see the deal, they go for it. And you know how it is. The moment that inventory sells, the next batch of inventory will be slightly higher, slightly higher, and slightly higher. I went over this so many times. You know, we have inflation, we have immigration, and we have population growth, and we have hedge. All these functions, and of course, supply and demand, all these functions making real estate go up and up and up. Um, yesterday's video, I showed you the price went up about 10%, almost 11 uh, from June of last year. This is not going to stop, okay? This is just going to keep going. People like me and you, we know it, we research, and we make our lives better. Remember, 90% of all millionaires in the Western world did it through real estate. They're not swimming in money. They're not balling. They just bought a condo or a house and another and another, and they live their lives. Totally normal. They usually have like regular jobs, but they're millionaires because they plan well use good advice and use great people and they're just making good decisions. So always focus on the good decisions, always focus on how you can make it better for yourself. And you can do this. It's not that difficult. Okay? Um, I've also put a video on how to buy a uh, condo with a partner if you need to. Okay? So if you're out of funds or you can only afford you know, 300000 maybe you can find a family uh, member or a friend that would like to invest with you and then they also available at 300 so now you have a $600,000 unit, you can still with a friend, later on you can take the profits, each take the profit and you can maybe buy a home on yourself, and then two, and then three, and then four, that's how it's done. It takes time, it takes patience, it takes a lot of planning, and most importantly, use good people. What you're going to see as the prices go up, you know, there are 55,000 real estate agents in Toronto, but they all come from construction families like me? No. They all been in business forever? No. They all do this for a living? No. Most of them have other jobs. It's okay to have your uh, real estate license, you're totally fine, but everything else is great. But when you need the expert, come to me. Call your accountant, because I'll tell you how it is, and I'll help you make the right decision for you. I'll give you enough options. You can choose what fits you best. Okay. I'll show you a few more cool tricks, and then we're done for today. When you go to urbanrealtytrauma.com, and then scroll to the bottom or on the side, you get these links here, and you hit the York Hill, you'll see what's available on the system for York Hill. That does not include uh, the private deals, and that does not, and that does not include um, anything that is not on the system. So there's other units, there's other assignments, other things, but this is what you can do. And you can start drilling in here and see what's available, okay? The same thing you can do with assignments, you see the assignments right here, and I'll give you the assignments on the system. There'll be more and more and more assignments. You may get a great deal on assignments too. You know, you remember, they take more cash assignments, they're, they're quick to close, but if you can do it, you can do really, really well. All right? So that's for today. The Well, Galleria Mall, Crosstown, very good project. That's it.